Now the next concept here is combining kinetic and potential energy in a circular orbit around the Earth. So let's start with a circular orbit first and later on we'll talk about a non-circular or elliptical orbit. So in a circular orbit, a satellite, let's say the mass is 1,000 kilograms, let's say the height is 500 kilometers above the Earth, will have both potential and kinetic energy. And so the total energy, energy total, will be equal to the kinetic energy plus the potential energy. So let's first figure out the potential energy. That's something we just learned how to do. So potential energy is equal to minus m, oh, no, not m, I'm forgetting the g, can't forget the g, minus g m big M divided by r, and of course r is both the, both the radius of the Earth plus the height above the Earth combined. So the potential energy is going to be minus g, or I might as well go ahead and plug in the numbers now. So minus 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11. Notice I'm leaving off the units because it's getting pretty messy here. Times the mass of the satellite, which is 1,000 kilograms, times the mass of the Earth, which is uh, 5.98 times 10 to the 24th, all divided by the radius of the Earth. Now, that's going to have to be, uh, no, total radius of the orbit, not just the Earth. So it's 6378000. That's the radius of the Earth plus the radius of the orbit. Okay? So with a calculator, we can figure out what the potential energy is. And notice it's going to be a negative quantity. 6.67 e to the 11 minus times 1,000 times 5.98 e to the 24th, and divided by 6878000 equals, and this is equal to minus 5.80 times 10 to the 10 joules. So that's the potential energy of the satellite when it's in orbit 500 kilometers above the Earth. So what would be its kinetic energy? Well, the kinetic energy is still going to be found by taking it, setting it to one half mv squared. Now, of course, to find the v, we have to find the orbital velocity of that orbit. And so we have to say that the orbital velocity is equal to the square root of g m over r. So we can actually plug that in here. So we know that the kinetic energy is one half times the mass times this quantity squared, which is g m over r. Again, remember that r is the total radius of the, of the orbit, which is the radius of the Earth plus the height above the Earth. Okay, plugging in the numbers, this is equal to... Now, interesting enough, take a look at that equation and take a look at this equation. It's still gmm over r, but it's times one-half and positive, which means that the kinetic energy is going to be half as much in magnitude as this, but a positive value. So it's interesting that always is going to be the case because of the way the equation is laid out. So if I take this number and divide it by 2, and then, of course, make it positive, that means that this is going to be equal to uh, 2.90, and that should be exactly half of that, times 10 to the 10 joules. So if you plug in all the numbers, you get this exactly as a kinetic energy. All right, now combining the two, because we have energy total is kinetic energy plus potential energy, so energy total is going to be equal to the kinetic energy, which is 2.90 times 10 to the 10 joules. And then we're going to add to that the negative minus 5.80 times 10 to the 10 joules. And notice that the total energy of the satellite is going to be minus 2.90 times 10 to the 10 joules. And there you go. That is the total energy of a satellite by adding the kinetic energy and the potential energy together when it's in orbit around the Earth. Pretty interesting results.